so today we are going to look at the dissection of the heart okay so as we all know heart is a conical muscular organ so what is the situation of the heart so heart is situated in the middle mediastinum at the size of a clenched fist as you all know heart consists of four chambers we have two atria and two ventricles and if you come to the presenting parts of the heart so a heart has an apex it has a base it has three borders and it has three surfaces so what you are looking at here in the heart you can see here this is what you are seeing this is a apex okay and here you are seeing this is a base okay first i'll try to show you all the structures then you'll be able to understand things better so what you are seeing here this is a right atrium and here we can see this is a superior vena cava and here we have we are able to see this is a inferior vena cava this is a arch of the aorta from which you can see three branches are arising the brachiocephalic trunk the left common carotid and the left subclavian here we have the right ventricle here we have the left ventricle and here we can see the left auricle this is known as left auricle and if you go behind you'll be able to see here this is a left atrium okay and these are what are opening into the left atrium what you are seeing here these are all the pulmonary veins which are opening into this left atrium and one more structure here what you are seeing here this is a pulmonary trunk so you can see the pulmonary trunk as you go behind you can see it is dividing into two branches this is one branch and this is the other branch okay these are the pulmonary arteries so these are the pulmonary veins okay so coming to the presenting part so we said it has a apex and it has a base so what you are seeing here this is a apex so the apex you can see it is directed towards the left side and if you look at the situation of the apex so it is situated in the fifth intercostal space about 9 cm from the midline then what is meant by apex beat so apex beat is a forward thrust which we can feel in the left fifth intercostal space medial to the mid clavicular line so it is a pro, uh, conical projection mainly formed by this left ventricle next coming to the base so this one is base so usually people get confused they think this is a base okay but this is not a base this is just a diaphragmatic surface okay but this is a base okay base should be always opposite to the apex and it is a most fixed part so this is a base which is directed posteriorly and to the right side and it is formed by two structures you can see it is formed by left atrium as well as by right atrium two third by the left atrium and one third by the right atrium okay so if you look at the boundaries so what are the boundaries of this base so this is a base above you can see so we said this is a pulmonary trunk so we can see above the bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk and below we can see a groove which is present between the atria and the ventricle so we can see this is a atrio ventricular groove on the right side will be having the right border on the left side will be having the left border of the heart okay and what are the structures you will be able to visualize in the bases we can see the veins mainly the superior vena cava entering into the right atrium the inferior vena cava entering into the right atrium and we can see the four pulmonary veins which are draining into this left atrium so these are the structures which we can visualize in this base okay now coming to the borders and the surfaces so it has three borders and it has three surfaces so on the right side we have the right border on the left side we have the left border and on the inferiorly we are having the inferior border so those are the three borders and if you look at the surfaces so this is a sterno costal surface because it is facing towards the sternum and the ribs so this is known as sterno costal surface okay on the left side we calling this as left surface and on the inferior we can see this is known as a diaphragmatic surface okay so first we will try to discuss about the border so this one we are saying the right border so this is the right border which you can see extending from the superior vena cava till the inferior vena cava okay so this is a right border and here we have the inferior border which is a sharp border you can see it is very sharp this is a inferior border which is extending from the inferior vena cava which is extending from the inferior vena cava till the apex extending from inferior vena cava till the apex and here we'll be actually having one indentation which we'll be calling it as incisura apices cardis 
okay here we'll be having a small notch which will be calling it as incisura apices cordis okay next we'll be having the other border which is a left border which is extending from left auricle which is extending from left auricle till the apex okay so this is a inferior sorry it is known as a left border now coming to the surfaces so we are saying first this is a sternocostal surface which is we can also call it as a anterior surface so what are the main uh, chambers which are forming this anterior surface so here we can see right atrium is forming even the right auricle is forming and here we have the right ventricle and here we even have the left ventricle so all these structures are forming the sternocostal surface but mostly it is formed by the right ventricle so two thirds of the sternocostal surface is formed by the right ventricle and one third by the left ventricle and as well as a part of the right atrium as well as right auricle then what are the features we can see here we can see a groove which is present between the ventricles and the atrium which we call it as a atrioventricular groove okay so this is the right side atrioventricular groove and here we'll be having one more groove which you are unable to see because of the extensive fat okay which will be call it as anterior interventricular groove because it will be present between the two ventricles so we'll be calling that as a anterior interventricular groove okay now coming to the inferior surface so what are the features you are looking in the inferior surface so inferior surface is also formed by the two ventricles you can see so this is the same thing the right ventricle and we are having the left ventricle okay so most of the diaphragmatic surface or the inferior surface is formed by the left ventricle so two third is by the left ventricle and one third is by the right ventricle and here also if you look at the features you are able to see one groove here which will be calling it as a posterior interventricular groove because it is present between the two ventricles and above it is separated from the base by this atrioventricular groove okay so this is about the inferior surface and we coming to the left surface so this one is a left surface okay which is mainly formed by the left ventricle as well as the left auricle okay so mainly these are the structures we shall be able to see in the left surface okay so these are the external features of the heart okay so if you look at the only parts the only part apex is formed only by the left ventricle base is formed only by the two atria okay and the diaph the diaphragmatic surface or the inferior surface is only formed by the two ventricles okay and if we come to two thirds and one thirds sternocostal surface is formed two third by the right ventricle and one third by the left ventricle diaphragmatic surface two third is formed by the left ventricle and one third is by the right ventricle coming to the base two third is formed by the left atrium and one third is formed by the right ventricle okay so like that we can remember two thirds one thirds together and only parts forming also we can remember okay so this is about the external features of the heart